My name is Katie Shembri. I'm a LMU alum from the class of 2018 and I work for campus ministry as a spirituality coordinator. Um, so my job changes depending on what the department needs. Um, this last semester I got to help with Kairos Retreat and First Year Retreat, which I love. Um, but currently I'm working on their social media accounts and the website. So I was involved in um, Tri-Delta Sorority. I was a member of the Laser Squad Bravo team, which is an improv troupe, which is awesome. And I uh, was the student minister for Kairos Retreat, which was really great. That's how I'm here today. Um, and I did ASLMU at RHA at one point, so I, did, I was involved in a lot of things. Being a part of the improv team, meant the world to me. I auditioned twice for it. I didn't get it the first time. Um, and then I auditioned again and I got it. And I just felt so at home. And it was just, I we had rehearsals once a week and shows and having your friends there to support you on a Thursday night consistently once a month. It just, it, it, you can't, I don't know, you can't even describe it. And to be yourself and to be silly on stage and to be so supported by your team, um, I just miss being silly and being spontaneous and um, going with the, with the flow because I feel like in life there's so many opportunities for things to be scripted and scheduled and that was one thing that was just like go on and have fun, that was the whole thing and I, I think that's something I probably really, really miss being a student is being a part of a group like that, it was so fun. Campus ministry since high school has just always been a big part of my life. Um, and I definitely wanted to continue that in college. Um, I remember going on my first year retreat five years ago now. Um, and I thought about the people that went are making the conscious decision to leave campus and get to know one another. Um, and I really wanted to make my friends that way and I can honestly say I made my best friends through that retreat. Um, I'm so grateful to Campus Ministry because it just gave me and my friends a place to be vulnerable, honest, and um, I don't know, it just, I think it brought out the best in not only me, but I think it brings the best out of a lot of people, um, whether they're religious or not. Um, it's just a really nice family environment, and as a student, um, being able to work with, with other students on Kairos and seeing the families that develop, I think is just so awesome. Like, I love going on retreats, but coming back, that's the magic. Um, I was an English major, journalism minor in school. I had my whole time thought I was going to go into law, I was like that's for me, and then at the end of my journey I realized through a lot of, you know, reflection that I don't think that's the right option for me based off of, I don't know, my personality or, I just didn't think I could handle it, um, and I, I don't know, I think, I never imagined I'd be doing something like this and I'm so grateful that I get to. Um, I think I'm truly an example of God having a plan for someone because I sure didn't know um, where I would be but I just love being back with students and in a different role and um, I love being available nine to five in case a student just needs to talk or um, I don't know I get to work on such cool things so I love giving back to a program that like really m made my senior year and all my years in college and um, get to see that opportunity in a totally different way with the students I get to work with. So it's really an awesome, awesome gig. I love the people here. I, whether it, we're talking staff or students or Buster the dog, I'm, I'm here for it. Um, I feel like in LA this is just such a place of authentic people, which I didn't think I'd find in Los Angeles, not to be stereotypical, but I'm from Sacramento, so I didn't know. I, I had the best time in college because I had such good people around me, and I'm doing okay after college because of the people I was with. I can't believe I'm still a part of that community um, in a way that's, you know, natural. I'm not just coming back because I probably would be visiting a lot, and that's weird. So I can say, like, I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> it's my job, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I love the people. I have two bits of advice, because I had the best freshman year. It was legendary. I had, it was so fun. 
Uh, I lived in Delray North, third floor, and I think one of the best things I did was leaving my room. Um, I was barely in my room. I was out in the living, you know, lounge area or out at the den or whatever. Um, because it's so funny is everyone's worried about meeting people, but people don't realize that everyone's worried about that. So having, you know, I don't know, even I'm an outgoing person and it was scary for me to, to talk to people, but we're all looking for a friendship and family and um, also looking in the right places. I think first year retreat, you're gonna meet really authentic people that are willing to give up a weekend of college. You know, I think that's really telling or, um, I don't know, even, you know, groups on campus, I just think there's such a special thing and I think, I don't wanna say my advice is to say yes to everything because you won't make it. I mean, that's just crazy. Um, but I think being purposeful and intentional is what you say yes to because that's how you'll find your people. That's how I found my people.